Hey, what's up everyone? Today uh, I'm gonna go over something that a lot of you IS owners from probably 2006 to 2008, 2009, maybe in the 2010s had um, with your rear view mirror delaminating and uh, you know getting all the spots around it. <clears throat> so I've already actually fixed the one on my car. Um, I actually sent it off to Radar Mirror last year and they replaced the mirror part of it on the assembly itself. but I discovered recently there might be a cheaper fix and it might get you a better mirror than the one that it came with from um, Japan or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, the, the version that came on this on the 20, 2006 to 2010 or 2011 had the Japanese mirror, not the, the ones they use in the US now. So I'll go over all that with you in a minute and show you how to take the old one off and then put the new one in and, and retrofit. All right, so we're inside the car. And this mirror is held on, it's pretty easy. It's held on by just one, one screw right here. Uh, it's a Torx bit. Um, I don't, I'm not sure which, what the size was, but I, I've got one of these universal multi-tool, so it, it's, it fits right in. So you just unscrew it, a um, couple turns, and it should loosen it, and then you slide the mirror right off, you know, right off the hinge. It's pretty simple um, the one thing you probably want to do which is probably the hardest part is just popping this this cover this wire cover off <clears throat> the, the old one pop that off and then unplug the, the the plug up top before you do that so that I've, I've done this before like I said so I'm just doing it again to show everybody so yeah you just pop the uh, the connector off right there comes right out and then this thing slides forward so that, that's pretty simple one uh, one screw. I've got the mirror out sitting on this box right here so we can kind of go over some stuff on it. So the first thing you'll notice is got this mirror's got this this little thingy right here. It looks like some kind of sensor or whatever. I actually discovered that this is actually the where the compass uh, sensor is. So it uh, this for this you know my car is an 07 so back in 07 they, they, they used this uh, this you know the manufacturer of this this one's actually manufactured by, if you look at it, um, it's made in Japan. It's made by Toke, Toke Rika. So this is a, a Japanese company that makes it. Um, the, this right here is actually your front photo sensor that measures the photo, um, the, the light output in the front, and then it compares it to the back photo sensor, which is the one that's right here on the, on the front. Of the mirror and then this over here is your indicator light so this uh, this mirror um, has the hidden compass so the hidden compass is up here behind the glass and uh, one of the things that um, people don't know is you can actually turn off your compass by holding down the auto button for uh, I think five or ten seconds and it turns it off and then you can turn it on back then and then this one's got the built-in home links on the bottom I don't know what version of home link the 07s 06s is in that generation but it's probably home link 3 I think they're up to home link 5 now so the home link 3 is what they use <clears throat> if you have newer garage door openers something uh, you know it's 2019 now so something in the last year or two that ha that require home link 5 um, this won't work for it and that's one of the reasons why um, <clears throat> if you look at the rest of it, this mirror, you've got, so if you look at the wiring, you've got this wire that goes back into the mirror, that's for the, the actual, this antenna I just went over. <clears throat> um, here's a screw that, the, the holding screw that holds it in, and this is your standard triangle wedge type mount, and that's important to know, and I'll show you in a minute what the retrofit version, um, <clears throat> and then the wiring if you look at the wires that plug into the car so there's actually five wires on this mirror coming out one wire is ground one is actually the constant power for um, your home link and one is your switch power that turns the mirror on and off and then two of these are actually for the I believe they're for the dimming side mirrors so this my car doesn't have it because uh, I don't have the luxury package or the sport package but you know, you know, with and with all things car related, they're gonna, you know, have that feature already built into the harness, and 
running to nowhere. So that's what I suspect the other two wires are on this mirror. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, this is what your plug looks like right there. And it plugs into the car side. So that pretty much, um, you know, goes over the standard mirror. And like I said earlier, this mirror is, I've already had it replaced by a radar mirror, the glass on it. So the, you know, it's, it's perfect. It's clear. The only thing that I didn't like about the radar mirror version I noticed is that the dimming, it doesn't get as dark as the OEM mirror used to get when that, when I was blinded, you know, when some a guy with those annoying ass trucks with the big old, the HIDs, you know, right in your window. <clears throat> so, um, that's the only thing that I didn't like about it. You know, I paid $115 uh, with the shipping cost to and from, I believe. Um, for them, actually, it was more than, it was $115. It's $100 for the mirror, $15 for them to send it back, and then I had to spend probably like $12, $13 to send it to him. So overall, it was about $130 glass replacement, which, um, you know, it seems steep, but it's better than a new mirror. But if I would have known a little bit more about these mirrors back then, I would have gone with the next solution that I would have, I'm going to show you guys. So when I was doing some research on mirrors and mirror retrofits for the rear view, I discovered this uh, Gentex mirror. So this Gentex mirror, Gentex makes almost all the mirrors, the dimming mirrors for all the manufacturers these days. They, um, <clears throat> and a lot of their mirrors are pretty much universal. They've got, like I said, showed you earlier the same the wedge mount this is what the wedge mount which is the same for the is version and uh, if you actually look at the the two is from 2011 to 2013 or maybe 2010 to 2013 they actually use a gentex mirror instead of the the tote you know the other brand that i <clears throat> that i took out from japan <clears throat> and um they is a because you could tell by the buttons on that version that they're they're like this right here on the newer ISs. Um, so this particular one I actually ordered for my dad's Camry and I'll have a video on when I install that on his Camry. It's got the the, the radar or the, the compass right here, um, but it's not the hidden one. And the funny thing is, I, 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 as I was researching and looking up different models is, they actually make a version with the hidden uh, compass behind instead of having that. I've got a Sienna, and the Sienna has a, a Gentex mirror that has this also. The one thing I noticed on the Sienna one is all the back lights on here are lit up. Um, on this one, it's the actually the Gentex 453. That's a very common mirror model number from Gentex. And that one doesn't have the lit light up button, buttons. <clears throat> and the four, that 453 mirror actually comes on Lots of different cars, Nissans, Toyotas, um, some American cars. So on here, um, you, you'll look at it and the back of it right there says focus. So you can see the G, GNTX 453 number right here. That's the Gentex model number. And you'll see some of these other FCC IDs and model IDs. None of those really mean anything. I mean, it means, I, I believe it means the auto dimming version with the home link, but you'll find those part numbers on different um, models. So in the bottom there, you'll see those numbers. Those are actually the numbers from the manu the car manufacturer uses for their part number identification. So I ordered this one on eBay, kind of sight unseen just by the description in the pictures. When I got it home, I actually plugged it up and it is this one's from a Nissan <clears throat> so how do you know that well you can usually tell by the, the illumination of the compass so if you look at the compass um, I think Nissan uses amber Toyota uses like a blue or a green um, that's really the biggest difference you're gonna tell <clears throat> and then also the wiring harness and the wires coming out of it so this one when you order these on eBay, I actually paid only 40 bucks for this mirror and it pretty much brand spanking new, no, no, you know, no scratches, no nothing. It, it worked, it lit up pretty fine. Um, and then the wire harness on here is different. So this one's got a different plug. It's got that plug. So, and I noticed my Sienna has a, a 12 uh, wire plug this one's got a 10 wire 10 wire is pretty common on the Gentex mirrors though so and then on the back of here I'll, I'll post up the a wiring diagram but so like I said three of these wires coming out of this version 
is the same as on the IS. You know, it's going to be the ground power and constant power. And then there's two more on this one that come out. And I think this mirrors from a Murano, a Nissan Murano. So that one must have had side dimming mirrors also. So it's actually got the two mirror <coughs> wires similar to the 2IS with the dimming, <coughs> side dimming outputs. If you don't have side dimming outputs on yours, then it probably doesn't matter that you have it or not. Some of the ones you, you find too, they, they might have one for uh, on Hyundai's, I believe they'll have a, a signal for reverse. So when you go in reverse, it will actually disable the, the dimming on the mirror so you can actually see out your back window. And uh, I I've, I've found some other wiring harness online that have other features also. So it's, um, and I'm assuming uh, that th these are just pinned wires and the mirror itself, if it's a 453 or one of the other part numbers, probably has all the circuitry uh, built into the pins. They just, you know, if you don't have the wire connected, it's not gonna, you know, either send the signal out or deactivate the, the dimming when you're re reversing. <clears throat> so plug that back in. Um, pretty much the dimensions of the mirror are almost identical. If you put the two, two side by side, you can tell they're same shape, same way. One thing you'll notice is on the Gentex mirror, the, the photo cell eyes on the other side. It's also got a nice little lens on it versus if you look at the, the old IS one, you can see right into the circuit board and, and see the sensor inside the circuit board. <clears throat> same with the front. See, at the front, you look at it, um, one of those is the photo eye, the other one's the indicator light. And um, for this one, you actually have the compass on off button and then the mirror on off button, the dimming on off button on that. And if you look at the IS, yeah, you can see right into there and you see the photo eye sensor right inside there. So I'm gonna go over here and kind of demonstrate the powering on of this sensor, this mirror also. So I've got all the wires out of here. <clears throat> So if you look closely, the blue and the brown are those side mirror dimming outputs that I was talking about. And you can tell right there, they're, they're in those two pens right here, the blue and then the brown right below it. Um, I've already tested this mirror once, so I actually stripped the three wires that I needed for it. And I believe the, <clears throat> the black wire on here is the ground, so that's right there. And then these two, the orange and then the black with the red stripe are the power and, and switch power for this mirror. So I'm gonna plug it up to my computer power supply that I rigged as my 12 volt and five volt uh, for when I'm working in the office, uh, or not the office, but the garage, so you guys can see. All right, <clears throat> so I've got, got the ground wire tied up to my power supply. I'm using this alligator clip right here. <clears throat> so. Like I said earlier, the, the orange wire right on this car is the switch wire and then the black and red is the constant power. So I plug that up, constant power, and then if you go over here and hit the home link buttons. The home link light lights up red when you press that. So that's working fine. <clears throat> and then if you go over here and plug up the auto dimming, wire the mirror comes on and it actually is actually dimming right now because my garage lights are so bright so this front sensor is going really bright right now so if I if I hide that and then you know the back side is you know right here on the facing that way so you can tell it's coming it's getting a little brighter but it's still you know the, the differential in, uh, in output is so much that is still saying dim, so take it off, it goes dim, cover it up, it goes off. And then if I hit the power button, it goes back up to normal, turning off the, the auto dimming right there. And like I said earlier, <clears throat> see this one's got the amber uh, compass, that means it's, it came from a, a Nissan or a, an Infiniti, and um, then that's how you can tell. One of the things, uh, when you, you could find these all over the junkyards because most people aren't looking for these kind of mirrors. So you could find these and they'll, they'll go all the way back to the 90s. They'll, they were making these types of mirrors. So, you know, and if you wanted to test this when you're out there, you could just bring a, a, a nine volt battery and nine volt battery will probably power this thing up also because that's what I read online. So <clears throat> as long as you could, you know, you, you have the, 
you know something to strip the wires and cut the wires when you're at the junkyard the one thing I would recommend is anytime you pull one of these mirrors to take the harness with it because there's so many variations of this mirror that having that harness will make your retrofit so much easier so back to how do you retrofit this having it <clears throat> different plugs well what I would do is uh, if I were to do this retrofit is I would take these wires right here figure out which one's which and we've kind of figure that out at least for the power and then the, the auto dimming for the side mirrors on this one I would know because I don't have that on my car so there's no way to test that so you either make those connections or you know just leave them unconnected on this side and then same with this side you would you know on this car I've actually already tested these because I've got a my my dash cam wired to these for power <clears throat> for the switch power and so anyways, what I would do is cut this one off, this connector off the old mirror, if my mirror was shot already and had the delaminated screen, and then I would solder my wires over to here just enough so I can run these wires up and then plug it into the existing uh, harness on the car side. So that's what I would do if I were to retrofit this mirror onto my car. The one thing that you'll notice is on the version that they had of this Gentex mirror for the 2010, 2011 and up, they've actually have the wire going through the stem here and it it actually has a plug that that goes up you know into the, the actual car right here that's this plug so this plug is actually built in through the stem instead of you know external like this so that's if you could find one for an is that would be your easiest plug and play solution but if you wanted to go like a 30 or 40 dollar mirror or when you find it at the junkyard this would be the route to go right here so we're back inside the car and I'll show you how easy it is to just mount the Gentex mirror. So this is the, you know, this is the Gentex retrofit mirror. If, if I were to retrofit, it just slides right on right there. And then you just tighten that same, you know, that one screw right here. And that's all you need to do. You could use all your old hardware like that, the little um, wire cover and all that. Once you do your retrofit wire harness up to here and then the actual you know this little thing should fit right over the old one or the new one right there fits right over and then it just slides right up and then you can fish your wire through this little hole right here that it's that's already built into this this wire cover um as you can tell right here see that little spot there but pretty simple retrofit in my opinion if i had to do this with this car and um Actually, I, you know, I, I kind of like this mirror a little better because of the, the, the buttons and it's, you know, if you get a newer version of this mirror, it's a better uh, home link technology that may uh, work on your newer um, garage door openers. One of the ones I've seen some people actually do too is uh, if you see the new RC350s and RCFs and some of the newer Lexuses, they have the no bezel uh, mirror and I've seen guys retrofit the no bezel mirror and a lot of those newer ones have home link 5 so if you have a newer garage door opener and you need a home link 5 you could do that retrofit also that mirror is probably two or three hundred dollars but it's worth the retrofit because if you were just to replace this mirror with an OEM Lexus version plug and play version it, you even use it's gonna cost you about 300 bucks or more so you could find a Gentex uh, you know one without the basil. It's got the home link buttons. It's got the compass and everything and um, You know retrofit that so um, Other than that if you know if you don't like this little window right here and you want this Gentex mirror <clears throat> Just look for the version without the windows. Just make sure that it has uh, your compass uh, in there Some of them have temperature also which you probably don't need on this car But the, you know that is an option because um yeah, you know, like I said, that this 453, this Gentex 453 mirror comes in lots of variations, and it's this model is probably the best one as far as buttons. You know, you're having all your buttons, having your home link, and then being cheap too, because there's so many of them out there. They've made newer models since, but then those, you know, you're still looking at 250, 300 dollars. They also make kind of an aftermarket version that is basically an OEM but that Gentex themselves market it as an aftermarket version for retrofits and then that one comes with your little harness plug then you kind of make your own connections on that but uh, you know that is out there also so um, but like I said those are 250 to 300 dollars versus one of these where you can find them in the junkyard and just uh, 
you know, or on eBay. They're all over eBay also. So anyway, if you guys like this video, just uh, leave comments, like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions on how to retrofit it, um, you know, I'll try to answer them in the comments. So one of the things that I noticed on my mirror as I was putting it back together, and if you guys are watching this far, thanks. Uh, anyway, um, this is what annoys me on this mirror, and it's annoyed me for the longest time. I think there was a TISB back in the day to replace the mirror because of the shaking like this. But it's still, you know, this mirror was actually replaced and maybe I should have kept the, the original one, but they replaced it under warranty back when the car was two or three years old. But anyways, um, <clears throat> this right here, over time it just starts shaking like this uh, and it's just because of the poor ball joint that's on the back so it allows it to turn like this. The new... Um, or the Gentex mirrors, I don't think they have the same problem because the ball joint is a little different on there, so it won't shake like that. So, you know, as I as you drive down, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed it on their car, but that mine does that sometimes and it rattles. So that's one thing that you know changing this one this mirror out would actually help. Anyway, thanks for watching this far, guys, and uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.